Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today we have a unboxing video as you guys can see right in front of here is the Omega Mon you can see it's a digital monster reboot if I'm not <coughs> mistaken this kit was released back in 11? 11 or 2012? I'm not mistaken but it was quite some time ago and there uh, in 2016 or 17, they announced that it's going to have a reissue and I know that I wouldn't, I couldn't miss the chance to get this. So here it is, I bought this for uh, 145 ringgit. Um, in, normal, in normal places, you would get a range between 145 to I guess around 160, more or less around there. But I got this at 145. I will leave a link down below and if you guys are Malaysian, uh, you guys would know, would heard of this uh, shop, I bought it from Gamers Arena. So yeah, I will leave a link down below as well for you guys to uh, have a reference or maybe if you guys want to come to Malaysia, you guys can check, that, um, check them out. So yeah, nonetheless, let's head on to this video. So as of right now, you guys can see, here is the most iconic where you have the Meta, Meta, this Meta Garurumon, this Meta... Meta, I could I couldn't remember what is it called, Meta Wargrim or something like that. I've forgotten the name, but yeah, you guys can see the box art looks very cool. This I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it was I remember the most iconic when this appeared was there is the movie the Digital World, where uh, all the cast went in there for the Digital Digital World more or less. So yeah, next year let's have a look at the sites. So this is how it looks like, as you guys can see, and I believe uh, the eyes you guys can see it's a little bit black, full black, like sort of deactivate mode. So you will have, if I'm not mistaken, a sticker. So yeah, that's that. And then here you guys can see, you can see the sword. I remember as well, the sword you would need to, um, is from a sticker as well. So yeah, I'll do my best to, you know, hopefully get it right. And here it is, the comparison. <clears throat> As you guys can see, uh, the cape and the other product. Um, the cape inside is red, but if I believe the cape that, that when I check the runners, the cape inside is uh, white as well. So, yeah, if you want to have an anime accuracy, I guess you would need to uh, paint it in a way. Or maybe you guys can just uh, make your own cloth, because this is uh, like a cloth material, and then here is like the fixed kind. So, yeah. And then here at the top here, a clearer of the Omega Mon. So yeah. And at the other side here, you guys can see here is in its battle mode. So yep. And then here again, I guess you see it's red and then behind here is white. So yeah. And then here it's just the same. So maybe you guys want to have a closer look here. Just now I did not um, really show, bring it up to show you guys. So yeah, here the toy sticker and then you have the Bandai over here. And as I recall, um, I asked the Gamers Arena, the, the one of its workers, and asked the scale of it. He says it's almost the size of the Quanta. So it's not very tall and it's not very small, just like the Wing series. So it's uh, quite, quite an okay size, I would say. So yeah, without further ado now, let me get out all the runners and show you guys. So welcome back. We now have a look at the runners. But before I proceed, uh, I went to check online. It's War Greymon and Metal Garurumon combined together to have Omega Mon. So yeah, now let's have a look at the first part here. The very first part I'm about to show you guys is the sticker. So yeah, I believe um, these four parts is the eyes, and then this is the shield. This should be the follow-up parts for the uh, Metal Garurumon, and then this should be the chest. These two pieces, if I'm not mistaken, is used for the horn, which I will show you guys later on. And then this black, I'm not sure which part it is. But then these two, of course, it's the sword. So, yeah, hopefully I will make a good job in sticking them. And, uh, yeah, have a good uh, record on it. So, yep, now we'll let's have a look at our very first runner over here. So, as you guys can see, it's a combination between uh, the uh, Metal Garurumon as well as the Wargreymon. So as you guys can see here, this is the shield, maybe the details. So yeah, and then over here, you have this part, I'm not sure which part it is. And then you have a sort of like a clear, this is a clear red piece over here. And then the other side over here, you have 
um, I don't know which part it is so yeah just like that then here you guys can see the claw over here this two definitely would be the leg then here is definitely would be the mouth for the metal garurumon so yeah part one is done now let's have a look at second part so the second part here we have an all gray parts over here um nothing much really to show you guys yeah maybe only this part if i guess this part would be the cannon sort of like the small cannon i guess so yeah nothing much so on to here another part this is another gray color piece here so yeah again nothing really to you guys it's the same piece is part c as well so yeah then here you guys can see the poly caps again nothing much to show you guys and it actually says here i'm not sure you guys can see it says uh, Bandai 2008 so it's much earlier than I thought that uh, this kit was released so it's back in 2008 so hopefully it was still able to hold on to it so here we have two parts the part B here definitely it definitely looks like the legs over here so yeah like the white knight legs and then here is the what do you call that the anchor armor I guess so yeah nothing much maybe you guys want to have a look at one part of the details so yeah just here it is the next part here is definitely the body here you guys can already have a look here so yeah and you guys can see it's a very heavy sticker um sort of like a i would say top up to the color so yeah if you guys are good by all means go and paint it it will definitely look much better so yeah and then here you guys can see the sword over here the digimon writings not sure you guys can really see it but yeah here it is it's white in color i thought it would actually be in gray but yeah nonetheless and here you guys can see the like i mentioned now the horn over here it's supposed to be in yellow same as the anime but unfortunately it's white so yeah we will use the sticker to stick it back here we have another gray piece over here and you guys can see ah uh, let me just show the other side here is definitely the cannon the metal garurumon cannon the sort of like ice cannon i would say and yeah the rest is just yeah normal like that so i guess i'm not sure until now we still don't see the head but yeah this is the e part of it and here of course we have this um cape of it it's white in color so yeah but you guys can see uh there are actually lots of details for you to you know um to paneling it and definitely it will bring out all the details unfortunately i'm just going to tell you guys i will not be doing any panel line and nothing at all maybe if you guys want to see i can panel line it and then just uh, kind of show you guys how it looks like after you panel line but for the review purposes i will not do it because like i say most of it is just um straight build add along some stickers which i will not um, panel line on it to show you guys just a simple build how it would looks like so yeah here is the white color part and finally we have this red color piece and i was wrong it's actually um, white and red so it's kind of good that ma that they maintain that but of course uh, I hope I mean this is a re-release I mean or you say reissue I would appreciate if Bandai actually change this into like a cloth material instead since you've done it for um, sand rock but I guess if you do it on the Nataku or sand rock uh, using the cloth material it will be known as P Bandai right away so I guess they still maintain it this way so yeah basically all the parts are in the final part we shall look at the runners i mean i'm sorry not runners the manual so now we'll have a look at the manual so as you guys can see this um sort of a very simple manual and uh, it kind of looks like a hg manual kind of thing maybe because of course it doesn't have an inner frame or some sort it's kind of simple and in a one to 100 skill i guess but yeah i mean nonetheless let's have a look it's a color picture over here and once you flip open you guys can see some detailed information here let me just bring it up and show you guys so yeah you guys can see here is the omega mon this is sort of like the anime version so of course all the details you guys can see and at the bottom here you guys can see the completed kit along i'm not sure this is a sticker or what but if it's a sticker then they did a really really good job and then back here you guys can see it's floating around like that and this part uh, for the QR code, I don't know what is it for, but I have this um, part, it's a white part just now. So yeah, and then here, you guys can see it's uh, Omega Mon first appearance, it's in this movie. So yeah, and then over at 
this side um this is more like the last part so we shall move on so when you turn on the next page you have the runners count so there are total of one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten there are total of ten runners which is uh, rather simple next uh, we shall look at the very first part so of course as obvious the first part we will look at the head over here and then again the head is just three steps and you're done basically and then here you have this part is the chest part then after that here is what part is it this are uh, the hands as well and then here's the shoe and then once you move on here is the legs so here and then the legs and after that here is the torso or I should say the skirt part there and then at the other side here finally you have the wings so I guess this would be a very quick build so yeah I guess I'll enjoy my time building it rather than doing it too fast and of course at the end of this runner you will have the completed product so you guys can see here here is it floating along with the cape which I guess looks kind of good and you guys can see here the completed uh, Omega Mon and then here like I say you can switch between the big cannon and the small cannon and the Omega Mon no and the metal Garuru Mon mouth and then here you guys can see the red color the clear piece I guess you put sticker on it then you put on the red piece on the top as the shield and then you guys can see here this is uh, articulations and then here you guys can see uh, War Greymon can put the shield I mean can put the sword inside his mouth so yeah there you guys see at the back here and here is the full overview of the Omega mode. So yeah, then here maybe you guys want to have a look at the colors uh, guide. If you guys want to repaint or anything. So yeah, that's it today for the unboxing of Bandai release of the Omega Mon. And of course, uh, if you guys have much more money, you guys can go and purchase the metal build version of this Omega Mon. It is already released in China, in Malaysia. Yeah, it's already uh, Malaysia already get it as well. So yeah, you guys can look for suppliers if you guys are looking for. And you guys really should check it out. The uh, metal build version for this Omega Mon looks really really great. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll leave a link down below. There's a China reviewer. He's already done the review. So maybe if you guys really want or interested, you guys can uh, have a look at it. I still can't afford uh, in that range yet. I'm still on this um, newbie level. So yeah, that's why I'm here. And yeah, I guess that's really it for today's video. So if you guys have enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to drop a like. I would really appreciate it. And while you drop a like, um, feel free to comment as well on uh, you know like what are the things that I could improve or any questions you might want to ask I will reply to them as soon as possible and yeah uh, if you guys want uh, more videos like this and maybe some other news videos or any figure reviews videos in the future please do not forget to subscribe to me as I will update uh, I guess every month per video that's my uh, minimum so yeah I hope, I hope to see you guys again in another video of mine and I guess that's really it. So again, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And I hope all of you have a very good day.